Hello guys, uh, it is good to talk to you. Uh, the purpose of this video is to explain you the concept of unit vectors, okay? So let's start. Unit vectors, uh, as the name says, is a vector that is one unit long in a specified direction. So what you need to remember is that what it matters about, or what matters about uh, the unit vectors is not the magnitude but the direction. So basically we are interested in the direction or through this, actually the unit vector is a procedure. So through this procedure, what we are doing is we are taking out the magnitude of any vector and we're just keeping the direction. That is basically what we are doing, okay? So to find the unit vector, uh, basically the procedure is this. We are gonna find the magnitude of the reference vector. Let me give you uh, more details. The idea is this. Always you are going to receive a, a reference vector, so a vector that is given. And what we want to have from that vector is the direction, okay? So the procedure to find the unit vector is first from that given vector, we are going to find its magnitude. After that, what we're going to do is we are going to take the components of that given vector and we are going to divide them, each of them, by the magnitude that, that we just found. Okay? And that is basically the procedure. It's really easy. Okay? What is the purpose? So the purpose of this procedure, as I told you, is to take out the magnitude of the reference vector. But the idea is that we are going to use that to create another vector that has a different magnitude but follows the same direction than the reference vector. So that is basically the idea. Okay, so let's see how we apply the procedure. As you can see, here we have the first example. Basically, they are giving us a vector. As you can see, the vector is vector W with the com corresponding components, which are negative 2, 3, and 6. Okay, and they are asking us to find a unit vector. Okay. So here I already have it, write it down, okay? Uh, and basically my first step is I'm going to find its magnitude. So step one, find magnitude, okay? So that is the first step, okay? So I'm taking vector W and I'm taking the component of it and I'm finding the magnitude with a procedure that we already know, okay? When we have all this, this is 49 and that means that the magnitude is seven. Second step, we are gonna take the magnitude and we're gonna divide the components by the uh, magnitude that was found, okay? Divide components by magnitude, okay? That is basically what we're gonna do, okay? So uh, there are two ways to represent this. I can either take the magnitude, oh, sorry, take the components and write it like this. Okay, of course, we can either write them down vertically or horizontally, okay, like this. Okay, or, or the other option is like this. I'm gonna take, let me do it different. I'm gonna take the original vector which we know is negative two, three, six, and we are gonna multiply it by the scalar one seventh. So any of these ways represent the unit vector. If you wanna test it, what we can do is we can take each of these components that are here and we can find the magnitude of that. 
and we're going to know or we're going to see that the magnitude of this vector is one let me show you so i'm going to take quickly negative two seventh to the second power which is as you can see this component plus three seventh to the second power plus six seventh to the second power and then enter and notice that it is one okay so basically what we did already is we subtract okay from the original vector its magnitude and now we have a vector that is following other this direction that is here but its magnitude is one so it is ready to uh, be used okay if we want to create another vector okay so let's see if it if it was clear i have a second example okay so let's do something for this second example that is here what i want to ask you is that please pause this video okay and when you pause this video what you're going to do is you're going to solve it okay and then after pausing it you're going to see how i solve it okay so let's do that now please pause the video So I imagine that you already solve it, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna solve it now, okay? I'm basically writing down the information that is given. Okay, notice that this problem, uh, basically what is given us is the coordinates of two different points point a and point b okay and these are coordinates they are asking us to first to find the vector a b then they are asking us to find the distance between the points a b this distance is the magnitude of course and then they are asking us to find the unit vector in the same direction uh, that a b has okay so let's start with first find the vector a b okay so to find the vector a b what i need to do is i need to do uh x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 remember that in this case point 2 is b point 1 is a okay it's important to follow this order if you do it the other way around you are going to find the opposite okay a vector so let's do it so x2 minus x1 is negative 5 comma 0 minus negative 3 so that means positive 3 and then 3 minus 2 is 1 so as you can see we already found the vector a b now the second um part is asking us to find the magnitude of this vector so the magnitude of the vector a b is negative 5 to the second power plus 3 to the second power plus 1 to the second power okay so negative 5 remember to use parentheses okay in that negative 5 so the calculator understand that also the negative is being raised to the second power as you can see in my case okay in my case uh, i am using the parenthesis okay so this is 5.916 but you know what if i use decimals there are going to, to be some troubles so better i'm going to keep it with a radical because i want to have the exact value of this root so in this case i'm going to try to work okay with a uh, the complete um the complete root okay so in this case it's square root of 35. uh-huh okay so now here it is asking us to find the unit vector okay so uh, in that in in this case i'm going to call the unit vector with a different name okay i'm going to use a. okay so basically 
I can just write it like this. And it is going to be okay. Or if you want to write it as I mentioned it, you can write it like this. Or what is the same vertically? Vertically. Okay. So notice that this is how we find the unit vector. Okay. So now let's do something. Uh, let's create another vector okay having a reference vector and that procedure is called scaling okay so when you multiply a vector by a scale factor you create a new vector parallel to the original one these vectors will have the same direction but different magnitudes okay they will be scalar multiples of each other okay so the idea, and we call this procedure, scaling. The idea is this. This is our original vector, okay? With the size is three times V. By finding the unit vector, what we do is we find this vector, okay? Which is parallel, is following the same direction than the original one. But in this case, the magnitude of the vector is V. And with this, now we can create a vector as it is more convenient for us. If we want to have it, for example, one half, or that the magnitude would be one half, then we have it here, or in the opposite direction, the same thing. So that is the idea. Okay, so let's see the procedure. Notice this it says find a vector that is going to have two units long so that is the magnitude that we want to have in that new vector that we want to create but this vector is going to follow the direction of this one okay and be careful because maybe you are thinking that ah the magnitude is one no it's not one square root of three actually why because remember that is square root of one to the second power plus one to the second power plus one to the second power which is three okay so let's let's do this example example four Okay, so again, requirements, uh, I'm going to call this vector W, okay? And what we want to know about this new vector is that the magnitude is two units long, okay? So notice that I wrote that the new vector W, its magnitude is equal to two. Now, we want that vector following the direction of, of the vector P, and the vector P is having these components, okay? So, as I mentioned it before, we need to find the unit vector first, okay? So, here, step one is going to be find unit vector, okay? So, we need to find the magnitude of the vector P, okay? And the magnitude is going to be 1 to the second power plus 1 to the second power plus 1 to the second power, which is square root of 3, okay? Now... What we're going to do is we're going to take the vector P and we're going to find the unit vector. The unit vector of vector P is going to be 1 divided by square root of 3 over 1 divided by square root of 3 over 1 divided by square root of 3. As you can see, what is next? Okay, so at this moment we have the direction but we want to have the magnitude too. Basically what we're gonna do is, in order to have the vector W that we wanna have, we are going to multiply all the components from the unit vector by two. We can keep it like this, or we can write it like this. Okay, let me rewrite this because I think that is, is not clear or is uh, uncomfortable. Okay, so two, uh, 2 divided by square root of 3, comma, 2 divided by square root of 3, comma, 2 divided by square root of 3. 
okay? This is how it is. If you want to test if, if this vector is having the magnitude of 2, basically, let's test it. So 2 square root divided by, sorry, 2 divided by square root of 3 to the second power three times, okay? Because it's plus three, plus three, plus three. So we have this, three times this. And if I do this, notice that the magnitude is two, okay? So basically, as you can see, now we know how to create a vector, okay? When we, when a reference vector is given and a desired magnitude is given. So notice that basically this were the uh, given information. They are asking us to create a new vector with this magnitude, but with this direction. So again, let's review the procedure. First, we need to find a unit vector in order to take out from this vector the magnitude, but keeping the direction. We created that here. This is the unit vector. Okay, remember that this is basically taking the magnitude of that original vector, dividing the components by this magnitude, and then multiplying by the new magnitude that is required. And basically that's it. Okay, so it's very simple as you can see. Okay, let's see if you got it. This is the last example of today's class. Okay, so again, Please pause the video, solve it, and after you solve it, check with me, okay? So example five, I hope that you already solve it, okay? So I'm gonna call this vector, vector Z. Okay, uh, as I mentioned it, in this case, oh, they are telling us that they want to have uh, the unit vector, but in opposite direction, okay? So, first I'm going to determine the unit vector, okay? So, magnitude, notice that I'm always trying to work with radicals when the root is uh, unexact. Why? Because we need to keep the exact value. If, if we find it's the square root and, and it's not exact, then a, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because there are going to be some decimals that we are cutting. Okay. So uh, here, basically, this is what we are doing. Okay. All this is arithmetic. Okay. Merely arithmetic. Okay, so notice that I already found the a magnitude, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the unit vector, and uh, I'm going to write it here. There's no particular notation for unit vector, okay? So I'm going to write it here, and I know that the unit vector is going to be negative 1 over square root of 6. Uh, I'm going to try to write it better, okay? Negative 1 over square root of 6, and then 2 over square root of 6, and then, again, negative 1 over square root of 6, okay? And basically now, what we're going to do to find a new vector, I'm going to call it k, okay? is that, um, ah, they require to find the opposite direction. So basically, I need to multiply by negative 1, okay? So that means that that new vector is going to be 1 over square root of 6, negative 2 over square root of 6, and 1 over square root of 6, okay? And this is the vector k, which is our new vector, following the same direction or having the same direction, but opposite, okay? As you can see. So, guys, this is basically the class about unit vectors, okay? I hope that it's clear and that the explanation was uh, satisfactory. 
And if you understood it, now your goal is the following. You should go to the Google Classroom, which is here. And you should be able to solve now problem three from exercise 3J, okay? And uh, you should be able to work on 3A, B, C, so all of them, basically, okay? And that's it, okay? Uh, so, guys, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.